you need to mark on your sides which part was the flat edge as well as which part was the tapered because on your pattern that you traced here, you have a flat edge marking here and the other part's tapered on the top. So I usually just put like a little X on the edge that was the flat edge. So there's the flat edge. We're going to just put a little mark, like an X or something like that on each of your boards, just so we can know that that's your flat edge. Because when we come to our little jig here to bend your boards, when we go to bend these, one of your sides needs to have the flat edge facing this way. And then your other side, when you put your other side in, the flat edge is gonna be facing the opposite way. That way, we make sure to have a left side and a right side of our guitar. We just need to get the side wet before we bend it. And you can do this by clogging up the sink and filling it up with some water and just soaking your board. We just wanna get it covered right before we bend. Okay, when you're ready to bend your side, you need to make sure you have this bending jig. It will have a little heat blanket and power source for the heat blanket is here. You'll get it plugged in and you'll notice that there's a switch for the blanket to be on and off and the main power switch. So with the main power switch on, blanket still off if we turn the blanket on and then we've got a little thermometer gauge here that when we have this resting on the heat blanket or underneath it it will tell us what the temperature of the heat blanket is as it heats up so you want to make sure that little thermometer is actually touching the heat blanket and you'll notice the heat is starting to go higher on the heat blanket so you'll get this heat blanket warming up a little bit then we're going to grab our side we're going to place our side down first so we're going to actually take the heat blanket off put our side down heat blanket goes on top of our side then our other metal piece will go on top of that into our mold here making sure the bend line of our side lines up right in the middle of this bend right here and then we've got little spring attachments and these little guys here we'll put these on each side we'll connect our springs to those, hooking those on, on each part. And then on both sides, there's some springs. And then we're gonna pull these down and bend your sides as we do this. So that's kind of the process. Before we pull these down, actually, the very first thing we've gotta do is lower this crank here all the way down to put the pressure in the middle. So crank down first, and then we'll do the side bending. I recommend wearing some gloves when you do this because it does get pretty hot. That heat blanket's already up to temperature now. So we're gonna place our side in. Again, we wanna make sure that the little X that we did on the flat side is facing one way towards us. And the bend line, where your bend line is, and it might have to look on carefully to figure out where the bend line is at. So your bend line needs to be lined up right in the center here. So we'll go ahead and put your board in there with the bend line right in the middle. Then our heat blanket will go on next. And again, it's very hot, so be careful as you place your heat blanket on there that it doesn't burn you. And we'll put the side right in the very center of the jig. Pull the heat blanket through. And again, make sure your little thermometer gauge is resting right underneath the heat blanket so we can get the right temperature gauge here. Then we'll take our other metal part here and feed it through. Lining up our bend of this metal part with the shape of the jig. And then we're going to crank down our little handle here at the top, and we're gonna go all the way down until this is nice and tight. So we're, we're gonna make it snug. If you hear a little pop or crack, you wanna just lay off the pressure a little bit, but it should bend just fine with that heat blanket and also soaking your board a little bit. Now we're gonna take our little 
pieces on each side here. And we'll hook our springs on. And again, that heat blanket is very hot, so just be careful that you don't burn yourself as you're hooking things on. There's springs on the opposite side as well, so we'll get those on. And then you're gonna carefully pull these back nice and slow and cause that to bend all the way down. Now go slow and just go good pressure and we're gonna pull it all the way down the side. And then we'll get the other side as well. At this point, you can go ahead and unplug your heat blanket. You can turn off the turn off the temperature gauge, unplug the heat blanket completely. And we need to let this sit in this mold for at least 20 minutes. You can leave it longer than that, but make sure it's at least 20 minutes sitting in this mold, and then we'll be able to take it out and bend your other side. Just another reminder, when you bend your other side, make sure the flat edge is on the opposite. So this one, the flat edge was facing this way. The, the next time we're gonna have the flat edge facing the opposite way, keeping our bend line on our board on the same middle spot. Okay, when your side is done bending, we need to go ahead and take it out of the mold. And it's important that we do this process the exact opposite that we bent it. So when we bent it, we did this first, that pressure block, and then these two little side pieces last. So now we're gonna undo those two side pieces first, and then very last, we'll undo the crank to lift it off. And we wanna also just immediately take our mold, our side that's bent, and put it into our mold over here. And so you need to have your mold ready as well as your little uh, middle support blocks here ready to go as well. And we'll just quickly undo the crank. And just raise it up enough that we can get this little metal piece out of here. So you have to raise it up quite high. Take our heated blanket off. And then again, we should be able to get our side and quickly put it into the mold. Now inspect your side a little bit make sure that it bent fine with no cracks or other things happening to it. And so, you know, sometimes it cracks for here, but this one actually went pretty good. And again, we're just gonna place it into our little mold here, get it to stay, and we'll use our little sticks to kind of wedge it to keep that shape. And then we can go ahead and get our other side bent in the, the jig. Again, important that when you do your other side that we have your bend line in the middle as well as that flat edge should be on the opposite side so we have a left side and a right side. 